Boom, baby. So one of the things that I wanted to do in the shop cleaning, the fall cleaning, I want to make a table for my bead roller. It's useful, a lot of people have tables on them. Uh, there's actually another reason that I want to do it. Uh, I've got some ideas that I think might work, so we're going to make the table and then we're going to see if I can't make my ideas come to life. So basically the idea is we're going to build a table that's going to kind of fit right in here and go around these dies. All right, and then what I want is uh, I want the table to actually be able to fold down. So when I don't need it, it'll be hinged, you know, somewhere in here, and it'll just fold right down.
bad boy's looking good. So basically, it's just a table. And what this will do is as I'm running material through it, moving it around, it kind of helps keep the material level. Okay? But, and that's, that's what most of the tables do when people build tables, or you can buy tables for these things. When they have these, that's, that's the main purpose for it, is to keep it level. That's not, I wanted to use it for that reason, but not totally. I had an idea uh, that I have yet to try, so hopefully it works. But anyway, the way these things work is um, you want them to be able to collapse too, just in case you're working on something that's got some contours to it. So it's just got a bolt in the bottom. Take the bolt out, the thing swings down out of the way. Uh, when I need it, I can swing it back up, put the bolt back in it. Or, you know, to change, I guess, to change dies too, you have to swing it down to change the dies, and you swing it back up. So, um, should work good for that. One of the other things I wanted to do was on this plate, I put uh, some eighth inch holes, uh, about a half inch apart. Like with aluminum, a lot of people use dimple dies. And I think with this thing, I might be able to give something a, dip, a dimple die look by basically finding the center, drill an eighth inch hole in it, put a Cleco in there, and then just run this thing. And it should just, you know, make it do a circle, uh, contour the edges, and then I can cut the inside out. And it may look dimple die-ish. So that was kind of the, the idea behind this, too. We'll have to see if it works. I don't know that the Clecos, I don't know if the Clecos would be strong enough uh, to hold it, but I guess we'll see. At this point, it's pretty much finished. Probably just gonna dress it up a little bit, uh, clean off some of the marks. I like the raw metal look, so I might maybe coat it in some shark hide. But other than that, I think it's good to go. All right, guys, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me, as always. Just straight work today, not a lot of talking. But I will try to leave you with some inspiration. I'm always trying to inspire you guys to go out and do big things. See, uh, if there's something that you really want to do, you will find a way. If you don't really want to do it, you will find an excuse. Plain and simple. Go do work, son.